Hello, I'm from the School of Science and Technology. In this experiment, I'm going to show you how to measure the gravitational acceleration of a simple pendulum. We can find the gravitational acceleration of a, of a pendulum by using the simple harmonic motion formula. The original formula has you calculating the time of one swing. By this, I mean that the one swing of the pendulum. The bob going from the beginning position to the other side once, and back to its beginning position is the time you formulate with the simple harmonic motion formula. But you can rearrange the formula to find gravitational acceleration how I did it here. Since we know that time is one full swing of the pendulum, we will have to implement it into the new revised formula to find gravitational acceleration. Another variable we'll need is length. Length of a pendulum bob string is the only variable that affects the gravitational acceleration in its number. A longer string will have more gravitational acceleration than a smaller string. Since we know that gravitational acceleration is affected by length, the, um, what affects time? The only thing that affects time in a simple pendulum is the weight of the pendulum bob. A heavier weight, since it has more inertia, will result in a longer time because it takes a lot more friction to stop the force. A smaller bob takes a lot less force to stop. So that's why, the reason why a pendulum bob stops is that the component force of gravity pushes it to the equilibrium point. The equilibrium point is the middle or the center of the pendulum and it pushes it back to the other side and once it does this a component force of gravity again pushes it to the equilibrium point. Every time it goes to the equilibrium point the pendulum loses force or energy and when the energy is lost it keeps decreasing until the pendulum stops. Thank you for watching School of Science and Technology.